all the formatting we have carried out so far has been character formatting. That is, it has affected individual characters or groups of characters that we normally call words and sentences, but not affected the paragraphs. Now, a whole set of paragraph formatting options do exist as well. And these paragraph options are available in the paragraph group on the home ribbon. So we can see here, and we've already used the backwards P to show paragraph formatting such as returns and carriage returns and spaces. But in here, we can now carry out some of the paragraph formatting. Now, when you want to format a paragraph, there's actually no need to highlight the paragraph. You simply need to have your cursor in that paragraph. So if we're dealing with the access manual underscore extract file, the first proper paragraph here begins databases are a means of storing very large amounts of data. I can be at the beginning, I can be at the end, I can be in the middle. I have to highlight nothing at all if I'm only affecting the paragraph formatting. If I want to change individual character formatting, such as the typeface, the boldness, the color, the size, etc., then I do need to highlight. But for paragraph formatting, I just need to be in that paragraph. As it stands, the most easiest thing to control with a paragraph is the alignment. Now this paragraph is currently left aligned. That is the left hand side is all nicely lined up. If I right align it, which I can do with the right align option here, we see that the right hand side is nicely all lined up and the left is all higgly piggly. And we can go back to left. Notice I highlighted nothing. I'm just in that paragraph. Now we can do paragraph alignment using any of these four icons. Now we have left, we have center, you can see it aligns around a center point, so both ends are higgledy piggledy. We have right align, so the right hand side is flush, or we have justify, where both the left and the right hand side are flush, and effectively the spaces are padded to make it flush at the right as well as the left. Books are most commonly written in justified format. So we have justified, right, center, and left. Each of those four are very common alignment options, and they have four keyboard shortcuts. Control L for left, Control R for right, it's nice and logical. Control J for justified, because it's the first letter. The center one's a little more difficult to remember because that's Control E for equilibrium, perhaps, just to help you remember the shortcut. Like all keyboard shortcuts, if you use them regularly, they will stick. So it's L for left, R for right, E for center, and J for justified. Now we're only affecting the current paragraph when we do these options. If you want to affect every paragraph in the document, then you would need to highlight all the paragraphs, all the whole document, all the paragraphs you wish to affect. When it's a single paragraph, you simply have to have the cursor hovering about. Now, other options for controlling paragraph settings are the indent. Now, we can control the paragraph indent, so effectively the paragraph has its own margin settings by going into the extra options for the paragraph. These are our default options, but if we hit this icon here, brings up a separate dialog box where we can see the indentation options and we can indent from the left or the right. So if I just scroll that across, let's go in from the left by an inch and you can see here in the preview that's going to push our paragraph in by an inch from the left, but we can also do from the right. So we'll do an inch from the right as well. Okay, that then gets applied to this paragraph and we can see that it's indented from the left and the right. Quite useful if you want a paragraph to stand out. So that's indentation. That's in the extra paragraph settings and the little section here. Now there are special indentations. There's a little drop down here for special. And there are two types. There are first line indent, which will cause the first line only of the paragraph to be indented, or a hanging indent, which is every line but the first line. So if we see the first line indent, and let's push that in by an inch, you can see in the preview that's going to push the first line in more than the paragraph is indented. That's okay. So that gets pushed in by another inch. The paragraph is already indented by an inch, but now we've got a first line indent. Back into the settings, let's change that into a hanging indent. And you can see there in the preview that's going to cause the first line to be fairly normal, and then every other line in that paragraph to be indented. That's okay. And we have a hanging indent. There's first line indent, hanging indent, or the whole paragraph indent, both from the left and the right. All controlled through the extra paragraph settings here, and the whole section on indentation. Now, if we want to remove the indentation, we simply take these back to zeros. Remove the special by choosing none. 
OK, and we're back to where we were. So we can align paragraphs, left, center, right, justify, and we can control the indentation of a paragraph, really used to make the paragraph stand out and be effective and be noticed. We change paragraph formatting by simply being in that paragraph. We don't have to highlight it. But if you want to affect multiple paragraphs, then you do need to highlight those multiple paragraphs. So that's a start on paragraph formatting in Word 2013.